It's an unexpected move from Spain's Prime Minister. After the victory of the right-wing opposition in local and regional elections on Sunday, Pedro Sánchez, head of the ruling left-wing coalition government, called a snap general election for the 23rd of July, five months before the next election is due to be held. Even if the vote yesterday had a regional and local effect, the meaning of this vote sends us a message that goes beyond this. So as the head of the government and of the Socialist Party, I take responsibility for the results, and I think it is necessary to respond and submit our democratic mandate to the popular will. Sunday's vote saw the People's Party win in regions including Valencia, the Balearic Islands and Aragon, which were previously secured by Sanchez's Socialist Workers' Party. It also gained absolute majorities in the Madrid region and city council. But since the People's Party did not gain majorities in many of the newly won regions, it will need to negotiate with the far-right anti-immigration Vox Party to form local and regional governments. According to some analysts, Sanchez, who has been in office since 2018, plans to capitalise on the fear of the People's Party uniting with Vox at a national level in order to rally voters. His call for an election was welcomed by the leader of the People's Party. I want to thank the majority of Spaniards who yesterday sent out a very strong message about the direction they want our country to take. Today, I ask for the support of the citizens to be the next president of the government of Spain. Sanchez's coalition government has put Spain's economy on par with some of the fastest growing in the EU and introduced seminal new laws, including menstrual leave. The setback comes just weeks before Spain is due to take over EU presidency on July the 1st.